And former military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, has been speaking on the need for all Nigerians to continue to pray for the unity of the country. General Babangida made the call at his residence in Mina as friends and family met to celebrate his 78th birthday. The atmosphere was convivial at the Mina residence of Nigeria's former military president, Ibrahim Babangida, who turned 78 as he continues to receive guests who came calling to fellow states with him. Among them is a former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Alpha Belgori, who had kinds about the man who ruled Nigeria from 1985 to August 27, 1993. He's a gentleman, and uh, he will not advise you wrongly. Whoever goes to him for advice, they come out with joy that he has told them the truth. A detribalized Nigerian who remains committed to the peace and unity of the Nigerian nation, General Babangida seized the opportunity once more to appeal to all Nigerians, irrespective of their religious beliefs and political leanings, to continue to work for the progress of the country. We don't have any other country except this country. So we must all work together, men and women, young and old, to make sure that this country survives, the unity of this country is maintained, and uh, make sure we identify ourselves as Nigerians all the time. For a man perceived by many as evil genius, given his capacity for thoroughness, tolerance, humility and surprises, what is he to the children? Aisha Babangi, the born during her father's days in office, says he remains an enigma that he has the largest heart you can ever imagine. Um, his capacity to understand the human being is, um, I, nobody can even explain it. Uh, he would see you from a distance and probably hasn't seen you in 20 years, but he remembers everything about you. So that is an enigma, you know, and um, we'll continue to pray that God keeps him for us because we still have a lot to learn from him. In a statement to Mark General Babangida's 78th birthday, Niger State Governor Abu Bakar Bello, while congratulating the former military president, eulogized him as a unifying factor in the political life of the country. And the ministers of interior, Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, this Friday visited the Federal Fire Service headquarters amidst shares from top officers and staff. Now the report. I've been the Federal Fire Service as the life wire of the nation's policy on fire prevention to save lives and property of citizens. Ogbeni Rauf Arebeshola assured that he intends to push the concerns of the service to the appropriate quarters for immediate attention to enable it meet its mandate of responding promptly to distress calls. As part of the measures to ensure safety and security, services like yours must exist must be serviced, must be encouraged. In my, in my confidential discussion with your head and permanent secretary, I'm aware of your challenges. I understand the releases are not adequate. I understand that you still have some already committed uh, expenditure that you cannot fund. So the, the duty of the minister is to give the leadership that we eliminate such challenges, and I promise we will do. Mr. Russell hinted on how the Federal Fire Service could be supported to achieve efficiency in its operations as the case in other developed countries. The ministry broadly has the responsibility of ensuring internal security and safety. And in that wise, you have a role. You have a huge role in safety. People think that fire service is purely fire. It isn't. There are so many other things that uh, you do in the course of guaranteeing safety of the citizens. You proact. And we call it deal with other challenges. So we will support your immediate, we, we will 
we will attend to your immediate needs as we support as we support the growth of your service. Speaking in a separate interview with newsmen after the visit, the Controller General of the Federal Fire Service, Liman A. Ibrahim, said some of the challenges facing the organization is that of the budget. Absolute 1963 Fire Service Act, land for befitting headquarters, etc., and expressed the hope that the new minister will assist to sort things out as promised. The major challenges we are facing is we have about 32 firefighting trucks who are already manufactured in Austria and Turkey, but we don't have enough money to pay the contractor to bring them down. And you heard from the Honorable Minister that that one is a solved problem. The Controller General presented the minister with a gift, which is said is a sign that the minister is welcomed to the federal service. He further pledged the preparedness of the service to contribute to the realization of the Buhari's administration's key agenda on tackling insecurity and improving the growth of the nation's economy. And the rearrested of suspected Taraba kidnap kingpin Hamisubala in Kanu by the Nigerian police is another clear demonstration that the police authorities are determined to unravel increasing cases of kidnapping across the country. For residents of Taraba State, the rearrested kidnap kingpin Hamisu would help douse the mutual suspicion between the police and the army over the killing of three police intelligence officers and two of their civilian informants. We have an update. Hamisu Bala was rearrested at Otoro in Kano State by the police. A video of the suspect narrating the story of his escape has since been made public by the police. We have the confidence in all of security, security architecture, justifying the fact that not all of them are bad actually. Some of them are good and the good ones should be applauded, should be motivated, should be made known to the public as well as those who helped and are made known to the public. If the good ones are also made known to the public, we have confidence that there are good ones. People hide family members. People want to cover up for their own close ones. Take the case of the particular case we are talking about. When the guy was arrested in Ibi, it was in the news that half the town pursued the people that arrested them with a view to go and rescue him, believing that he was not a criminal, even though they knew the people that came to arrest him were security operatives. So you see how the society itself is helping these people achieve what they want. With the rearrest of Hamisu Bala, Nigerians are hopeful that the findings of the investigative panel on the killing of three policemen and two civilians by soldiers will provide answers to the various questions that trailed the dramatic escape of Hamisu Bala in the first instance.